So, we finally have some good weather. We just finished a little side gig. Alex is actually talking to somebody else about doing some bottom paint on their boat. So making some good money for our trip down south. Um, but I'm going to take advantage of this beautiful day and get a little bit more work done on the boat. I think I'm gonna install some solar panels and uh, put the outboard motor on the back because they're taking up a lot of room inside the boat and it's just finicky moving them around everywhere to get at things. <laughs> The life of a small boat. Good times. So there's the solar panels where they were stored all winter. Uh, we did have a sale there, but now it's over there instead. That'll go on later once our mast is back on. But my job for now is to get this motor that's been stored for the winter in our bathroom back on the back. So it seems like there's a there's a bit of oil that's come out. I'm not sure if that's a problem. Doesn't seem good though. That? <laughs> I think I'm going to experiment with wiring this in series. I've had it in parallel, but I'm just going to test it out. So this is the little parallel connector that allows you to connect the solar panels together in parallel, two of them, and then they come down to the one. You have one for both positive and negative. covering the solar panels because they always output when they're in the sun even though it's pretty cloudy they're still gonna output something so just gonna cover them up a bit. Can you have a clothespin Alex? I am fixing up some holes. We've got a bunch of holes in our deck, so it's nice. So we figured we're gonna seal those with epoxy. Hopefully the resin is still actually good. What are you doing over there? Nice hat. Filming. Got on your back there. Got a parrot on your back? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Fix them up some holes! Nice. We're sealing all the holes because we've got a bunch of holes from the screws. So putting some epoxy back in and hopefully no more water leaks. Hopefully. Having fun Q-tipping your holes? <laughs> That's the only thing that I can actually get in those holes because I need to clean them with acetone. So yeah, Q-tips. Looks like maple butter. Just don't eat it. <laughs> You're gonna add some of the filler stuff, yeah. silica powder. Put some in the area, see? Is it thicker now? Yeah, look. There you go. I think that's good. Yeah. It was no a problem. bit too runny, I think. <laughs> you might wanna jam some more of that in these two holes, or three yeah. holes that you did. These are still a little saggy. Hello, hello. Hey. Good. How's it going? What are we doing? Patching holes? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't know if you remember, we used to have a wood trim there. Yeah. So, so you took the wood trim off yeah. and you're going to make it all fiberglass thing? Yeah. 
You're not gonna put nothing back up there? Maybe we'll put a line of paint at one point, but for now, I mean, the wood trim is broken anyways. So filling up the holes, then the water comes in. <laughs> so did you have to drill them out first? Yeah. Because I saw you out here with the drill. I was yeah, gonna say, good thing you're on the top and not the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah, we drilled them out just to make sure like this would actually stick yeah, well to did it. Did you have to sand this down? No, oh, that's just, it's really thin. Like it's the gel coat is almost down to the fiberglass. At one point mm. we were going to have to like repaint the whole thing. Yeah, but now you're just easy. filling in like the gel coat. Yeah, yeah that's just, it. Just getting those holes just, filled. Yeah, just nice. so that water doesn't come in and no more damage. <laughs> no more water. Keep the water out. That's and what are you using to fill them in with? It's silica and epoxy resin. So we did. It's that. Um, the epoxy system. Yeah. yeah. Did you get that from Chris or did you get that? Yeah, I think this stuff came from Chris. I think it's it's just Chris the. Or but Chris has it. Life is so good. It's nice to be relaxing, like we've been working so much. And this is actually the first time sitting in the cockpit and just enjoying it all. Smoothie, wine, food. Big storm! It's windy and there's lightning. Yay, we're not the tallest thing on our dock this time. The intense storm passed, but the rain is still here, so making some nice supper, and we've got Corey doing some editing. Getting the next episode ready. Fun times. Really gotta fix this leak though. We got a bowl. It's collecting the rainwater from the window that we already rebedded. <laughs> That is so pretty. It's incredible. Who wants to go to the game? You're swimming. <laughs> I could be better. You could ask for a triple rainbow. <laughs> I'm sure it could happen. Triple rainbow? <laughs> triple, you know. Once in a lifetime. I think this is it. What are we having?
tonight? Making nachos. Alex is in kind of a blah mood today. Yeah. <laughs> Just too much work. We're working like full-time jobs, like 10 to 12 hours a day. Then we're working side jobs. Then we're working, trying to get our boat ready. We're doing some video editing, so I'm just feeling a bit random, just draining, hitting a bit of a wall. How's it going? It's going well. Working on our friend's boat, getting his bottom paint all good. Is it going to show? Oh yeah, it totally shows. Oh, God. Look at the sign. Oh. because he can work standing up. Actually, that's a huge difference from the last sailboat we worked on, that 40-footer sailboat we did. It was like super high, and this one I'm just like laying down, just having a nap, you know? The bottom is so dirty. So a lot of scrubbing, trying to get most of it out, and I think we're just gonna send the rest. And then what's the plan afterwards? After that, three layers of Interprotec and two coats of anti falling and actually a little bit of uh, fiberglass fixes. <laughs> Landscaping on this side because we don't do enough landscaping at our regular jobs. <laughs> Making money for the trip. That's it. Okay, priorities before we start to work. Here. Excited to work in the mast? Yeah, it's gonna be nice. We just need to get this done and then we'll be a sailboat again. Get to go sailing. So we're gonna do our VHF cable. We're pulling a new one up. So the first thing we're going to be replacing is this VHF cable down here. As you already saw, it's pretty much destroyed. And we're also going to swap out our mast light here because, well, it never really had a top. It either melted out or broke. I think it melted out. But uh, the light actually worked, so that's fine. We know we have power up here. Um, so yeah, let's get started. We're going to cut back some of the insulation from the end of our wire here with a pair of wire strippers and I'm going to bend the end over and tie a couple pieces of line to it so we, when we pull it through we'll actually pull through two pieces of line and a, another coaxial cable that we're going to replace this one with. So then we have two more lines going up to the top in case we need to pull anything else up. Oh, it's braided, wow. I wasn't expecting it to be braided. I guess they are braided for marine. It's not even connected anywhere. Nowhere. No power. This is the new one and the old one. The new one is so much thicker. Wrap that tape. 
Tastes <laughs> real good. We really don't want to lose this inside the mask because we're trying to pull the old out, old one out, put a new one in, and if this goes loose in the middle, I'm gonna be swearing. I think. First, I have a drink of beer. A little snack. And then next up, yep, snack. Chocolate, chocolate. And then I guess you can hold this on this end, oh. and then I'll go to the other end and start pulling gently and hopefully everything goes good. You may need to like feed it in slightly yeah, from this end. Bit. to get to the bottom of the VHF antenna here so I'm thinking something like that we might have a little excess but Woo! The new wires for the new light I'm using the old mount because we've got to shove all the other wires back in there so that's the mount from the old light and our new one What did we just find out? Uh, now we know that those two ones, the ones that beeped, those are the ones that go to the top of the mast. So when I wire this up, I'll know which ones are my spreader lights and which ones are my mast anchor lights. So now we should be good. This is going to hopefully make the threads we need for our bolt that we put through to hold up our radar mount. It kind of looks like it might start raining real soon, so I'm starting to pack up everything. Corey is finishing drilling up some holes for the radar mount. Then I guess we'll head home and make some supper. Stressful. I've never actually done made threads for a bolt. So I'm just hoping I'm not messing anything. <gasps> it's kind of scary actually making holes in your mast. Guess it's gotta be made. No choice. How's everything looking? Good so far. your beetle tape again more beetle tape <laughs> so our radar mount is made out of stainless steel and the mass is aluminum so technically you don't really want to have two different types of metal touching so I'm trying to put beetle tape behind the plates but it's, it's almost next to impossible it's really hard so Corey is pulling out on one side and I'm shoving it in and it doesn't look clean but kind of protecting it. It'll work. We'll clean it up some more. The main thing is to keep these bolt holes clear. So I gotta clean this one out some more with my my trusty little nail. Because we didn't bring the boat over so we'd have all our convenient tools with us. We keep forgetting things and have to walk all the way back to the boat. Look at that! Everyone's back on the dock. There you go. <laughs> Hiya. Hello. What's that Harry oh, thing up there? Hello. <laughs> <laughs> 
It's kind of scary putting in the bolts because you really don't want to cross thread anything. I think this one's much stiffer. Uh, I've already screwed it in this far, so it just jumps to easy there. But it's really hard at the end there. I don't know why. And we're putting a little bit of Loctite on them. I feel like this thing would never get on. We've been hauling it in the boat for so long, ever since we got it given to us in, was it July or August? I think it was in August. But it's on! Yeah, our car has been a garage and this, among other things, has been in it. Actually, Johnny kept it in his garage. Thanks, Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> for the longest time this winter, otherwise we wouldn't have had any space whatsoever. <laughs> now we've had so many awesome people to help us and Mark loaned us some things, gave us some bolts, Phil loaned us his rivet kit and saved us from walking all the way back to the boat a couple times because of tools. <laughs> it's coming together. We're sort of afraid to tighten down too much on these bolts because it's just aluminum and we just tapped it. It's not super, super, super thick aluminum, so I don't want to go crazy on the threads. But the thing is super solid. It's not going anywhere. And uh, it might even turn into a seat one day. <laughs> <laughs> 